Hi, welcome to Accordion Fast Track 13. Um, this uh, lesson, coaching lesson 13, has been missing for a while. So uh, I think we left off on uh, Fast Track 12 where I was talking about um, various aspects of uh, places where you might uh, wish to play, whether it be a little house party or uh, something if you aspire to something bigger. Um, so we might do a bit of talking about that today, and uh, I think it might be a good idea. Well, here we have a three-voice accordion, and um, it's a nice tone. It's a nice tone of accordion this is, I haven't had it very long, um, and uh, it's got a couple of little faults on it, but I might do a fast track on that to um, show how we repair it. But uh, just for now, um, we've done uh, some chords, and we've done a bit of uh, singing and some uh, melody. Um, so what I'd like to do is some practice on a bit of ambidexterity between the bass or maybe a waltz time in 3-4 one, two, three, one, two, three. we're just playing the C button there that's the one with the dent in the middle C and G together with your you know, straight chords and major chord C and up one to G of course Holding a chord down, or even a note, a chord, C, C, E, G. And moving along. So let's try, um, we'll do the C note and the C in 3-4 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and we'll hold the, hold the C note down I'm keeping my fingers out of the way here so you can see and you can count as you do this 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3 and then we'll move up to the E note, okay? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Sorry, I should be counting the bars there, shouldn't I? We'll do that bit again. One, two, three, one, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. So that's the C, the E and the G and we're doing four bars on each. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Okay, so that's that's and that's in three, four time. Now let's just hold it down for two bars on each note. One, two, three, two, 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 three, two, two, three. Okay, so we're just doing two bars on each one. So let's now, after you've practiced that, until you've got it, Let's do just one bar on each note. A one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. And then you can then change that 
any way you any way you feel and make up to a total of 16 bars of altering the shape um, of your chord you can invert it hold the chord down so <laughs> Just different ways to get you familiar and more confident in moving your fingers up and down the keyboard. We can do the same in F, which we just move down to the F bass button. Then the G. That's it, F. to see and we put it all together slow down a little bit now <laughs> play it slowly until you can do it don't speed up That's not a tune, it's just to get you flexible moving between C, F, G, back to F, back to C. Very simple to watch, difficult to do if you go too fast. Go slow, slow it right down until you can do it. Start with just your left hand. Keep doing that until you feel really confident that you can play your bass without even thinking too hard about it. Then bring in your keyboard. And then we have one bar where we don't play any melody, just the bass, okay? And down to F, back to C, G, now F, back to C, and there we are. <coughs> now you can practice that with all your chords. Start with C and you'll be using your, if you're going to play that sequence in, in C, in the key of C you'll need C, G and F. If you do it in F you'll need F, C and B flat chords. If you do it in G you will need the chords G, C and D. And you can expand it each side of the bass. And the more you go down the bass into the flats, the more flats you'll use. The more that you go up, the more sharp notes you'll use. Uh, just as a, a, a matter of interest, as you move from the C button up to G, you will add one sharp to your key. Onto D is two sharps, A is three sharps, and E is four sharps. When you go down, to F, you add one flat, B flat, add two flats, E flat, you add three flats, and A flat, you add four flats. That's all you need to know for now. <coughs> because remember, we are only doing this for fun. I will explain um, the flats. Um, in uh, f uh, future lessons but for now just practice those playing the chords and the notes as we've just gone through and uh, another word about if you're thinking about playing in um, a party or 
even if you're aspiring to play a bit more public. Um, house parties, yeah, fine if you feel confident, but make sure that as well as playing happy birthday, you can play roll out the barrel when the saints go marching in and um, uh, Daisy Daisy, um, bless them all, there's another good one. And something simple in the um, more poppy stuff, something which everyone can join into. Uh, something, something, maybe a Beatles number or Marmalade, uh, Obla Dee, Obla Da, something like that. But um, whatever is, um, you know, get your repertoire sorted and make sure that you can play. And don't try and play things at a party which you can't play. You'll just, um, you know, you'll go a bit, uh, your reputation will go a bit flat if you can't play what you're trying to play. Just make sure, if you're going to play Happy Birthday, make sure you can play it. If you're going to play Roll Out the Barrel, make sure you can play Roll Out the Barrel. And if you sing those things, and you sing a bit more predominant than you're playing, you'll cover up your mistakes. <laughs> and that's uh, one way. You, I'll let you into a secret. The first summer season I did, as an accordionist, I knew eight songs. And I did six nights a week for five months, three hours a night. <laughs> because I could play them and then I used to sing them and then I'd play them again <laughs> and I got through the night. But that was a long, long time ago when I was a lot younger and accordionists were in short supply. I don't know if we'd get away with it these days, but yes, <laughs> I got away with it that very first summer season on the accordion. Um, so whatever you do, whether you're just gonna play your one song or eight songs like I knew, just make sure you can play those tunes which you're trying to play. And that way you'll come out shining. If you're gonna do happy birthday, stick to happy birthday and that's it. And as a matter of fact, I think in the, um, in, in the next lessons, we'll, um, we'll actually go through them note by note. Um, fast track 14 and 15 is already up. So I'll do another fast track and we'll call it fast track 16. I'll do that within the next few days and we'll actually go through um, just a couple, of, a couple of very simple melodies, note by note. And uh, that will help you start your repertoire for your little house party. Don't set your sights too high in other words and you'll be okay. Make sure you know what you're trying to play and don't run before you can walk. Okie dokie, well, thanks for watching. I hope these lessons have been some use to you. And uh, watch out for Fast Track uh, 16. Sweet 16, we'll, that's, we'll call it, uh, yes, Fast Track 16, look out for that. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, these lessons are not for aspiring professional accordionists. These are for older people, who are just looking for a bit of fun. If you want to make the accordion a professional um, hobby, of, hobby of profession is a <laughs> contradiction, isn't it? But if you're, going to, if you're hoping to go far with the accordion, then you're on the wrong side. This is just for fun, for older people who want to play Roll Out the Barrel and Happy Birthday, and that's it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.